what can you tell me about a deep blue solution of copper with four ammonia ligands and a two plus charge? And uh, to be honest, that should have a question mark on it. And uh, first thing we can see, well, a couple of things. First off, excuse me, ammonia is a neutral molecule. It's going to have um, nitrogen donating pairs of electrons, and we have four of them. So coordination number equals four. With coordination number four, it could be square planar. or tetrahedral, and that's something that we'll have to discuss. Uh, on your exam, I would think I would tell you which one it was, but let's see how our process goes here. We have a copper two plus, because ammonia is a neutral molecule, and our copper atom is going to have 29 electrons. It's going to have the first 18 electrons from argon, and then it's going to be 4S2,3D9, but wait, it's an exception. And please write the word exception on this page. The exception comes because we have D9 here. And one of the things that you were probably taught in first semester general chemistry, I know you were if you were with me, is that D9 is very close to being D10, which is filled, and that is oftentimes when you have to move one electron over. That is the case. You get 4S1, 3D10, or the copper atom. We haven't done the ion yet. So then you do the copper 2 plus ion. You take the 4S1 and one of uh, three Ds away, and you end up with three D nine. So that is our electron configuration. And uh, we've said this before, but um, let's see. So actually, let's just talk about copper for a minute. With three D nine, all five of the three D orbitals has to have at least one electron in it. All five of the three D orbitals. Uh, has at least one electron, which means there can be no DSP2 um, hybridization, which is what you need for square planar. So this one actually is telling us that it has to be, so no square planar, must be tetrahedral. And what I was about to say back there is that uh, it's going to be uh, square planar almost entirely for nickel and platinum species. And I haven't seen any palladium, but if I find anybody, any of them, I'd like to put palladium on there, too. Uh, so this must be tetrahedral. We go back to our notes, and we see that tetrahedral has two down and three up. With a delta zero there. We have nine electrons. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turns out it doesn't matter how you do them if you try and do them low spin or high spin. We can see that ammonia is closer to being a high spin. So, uh, but luckily we don't have to worry about this. But. And what else can we tell you here? Um, Oh, well, yeah, it says in my notes, ammonia is a relatively strong ligand, but tetrahedral uh, of delta zero is still relatively small. And we didn't talk too much about this, but you can see that the spacing right here is relatively small. That's called the actual how much splitting occurs. And what we're saying is the stronger the ligand, 
the farther apart those two sets of orbitals are, you can also see that octahedral starts much farther apart. And uh, square planar, oof, one of these orbitals is way up there. And, uh, but I think that's everything that we can say about this complex.